Now, yesterday on the show, we showed you that heartwarming Christmas ad. It's Bev's favourite Christmas right. ad ever from a pub in Northern Ireland that's gone viral. That's right. It tells the tale of a lonely older gentleman who finds company in two kind strangers after their little dog uh, brings them together. Let's just remind ourselves. Knows what is hiding in those weak and sunken lives. Fiery thrones of muted angels giving love but getting nothing back. Oh, people, help the people. And if you're homesick, give me your hand and I'll hold it. It gives you goosebumps, doesn't it? That was the potted the little dog version. Jumps on the old man's legs, and then the couple befriend him, and it's, it's just lovely. Lovely. Uh, we're joined now, delighted to be joined now by uh, Charlie's bar manager Una Burns and the content creator who made the advert E Fatigue. Good morning, oh. ladies. Did you have any idea you were going to cause this sort of sensation and be all over the world as the best Christmas ad in history? We just honestly, we can't believe it. We're just blown away by the response. It's just been absolutely amazing so far. We never ever imagined when we put out that video on Friday that this would happen and it's just been absolutely magical. So I'm presuming, is that, that's Una talking there. You're the manager of the bar, are you? No, that's me. Oh, Sorry. that's you. No, Sorry, no. ladies. Both gorgeous women on a Tuesday morning. Um, so just, just tell us then, what, where did the idea come from for the video? So basically, uh, we share videos a lot of the time on our social media and they're normally more lighthearted. And a friend of mine had texted me and said, would you not consider doing a Christmas advert? And so I thought, why not? Um, and I just kind of thought about what Charlie's looks at like at Christmas time. And unfortunately, it really came to me that it was more the loneliness and it's a tough time for people. And it's not just as joyful as it may seem sometimes on the on the really or sorry, on the TV. And we wanted to portray that. And we also wanted to remind people just to be kind at this time of year and to look out for those who maybe are suffering with grief. So once I had the idea, I knew I didn't have the skill set to actually make it happen. So I got in touch with Aoife and we storyboarded it and then we got uh, the actors. Well, they are lovely and it's charming. I mean, there's interest in this worldwide, I gather, ladies. From all around the world, people are getting in touch. Yes, it's been, the response has been incredible. We've had messages from Canada, California, from all over different places in America. It's just been unbelievable. And people just taking the time out of their day to send the most loveliest of messages to us, um, just saying, you know, it really touched their heart. Um, they maybe have suffered similar situations before. And, you know, it's nice to be noticed and recognised and just thanking us for um, the lovely video. It's been so lovely. How quickly did you know it had made such massive impacts? I think it really hit me on, on Saturday. Friday it was doing well. Uh, I was really pleased with how it was going, but I was actually working at the bar on the Saturday and there was a couple that came from Oma down the road from us about an hour and they said they'd watched the video and that was why they'd come into the pub and they said they were so excited they said have you seen it have you seen it on TikTok have you seen the amount of likes it has and I was behind the bar I said no I'm serving here I haven't seen and that that's when I think bigger accounts started to pick it up and share it and I, my phone just lit up and I think from then it just took off I think and in my I was a similar situation I kind of had a goal of what we would like to reach and it was on the Saturday, it was immediate that when I checked my phone, the goal had been passed um, by miles. So um, it was the Friday where I was still looking at it on my phone going, oh, I hope we get there, I hope we get there. But Saturday it just took off and it hasn't stopped since. <laughs> and are the actors, are they thrilled to bits with the response, the three actors, that, that lovely couple and the lovely old man? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, they can't believe it. Um, and well, they're just, they're local people. Um, mm. They aren't actors professionally. Um, one of them, Martin, the man, he does a uh, local plays. So they just, they've never experienced this kind of um, attention before. <laughs> um, and they're just loving it. And the wee dog. And what? yeah. What's yeah. the dog called? 
The dog's called Missy. Missy. Oh, and how many times has it been watched now, Afer? Um, it's be, it's hard to keep count, to be honest. Um, every time I check the phone, it's going up and up, but on all the platforms, it's definitely been watched um, several million times. Um, I think yesterday we might have been on, was it 10 million watches, in a, wow. At least that, because uh, I know yesterday. Um, Axe was on 8 point something alone this morning when I checked. Yes, yeah, so it just keeps going, and it, it really it doesn't seem to be slowing down just yet. <laughs> Your, Afer, is your job, do you make films? Is this what you do normally? Because if not, you're going to be doing it now. Yeah. You're going to be whisked off to Hollywood soon. <laughs> yeah, so um, it, earlier in the year, it was actually around St. Patrick's Day, I decided to take the leap and start it off myself. And it was actually Una who offered me my first job um, to make them a St. Patrick's Day video. Um, and I've just been doing it for from March time. Um, and yeah, it's been going well so far. Brilliant. Has, and have you had more business at the pub quickly? Have you noticed an, up, an uptick in takings? Because that's what we want with the hospitality industry. Absolutely. We're seeing people coming through the door and they're all bringing up the advert people that we've never seen before. They're right. even going to the door where it was actually filmed. So definitely. And we're looking forward to a busy Christmas. Oh, okay. brilliant. Congra well done. Congratulations to both of you. It's a terrific, terrific yeah. story.